Long before James Comey made history in Washington as the controversial director of the FBI, he grew up here in the small town of Allendale, New Jersey, going to this church, living in this house, and playing basketball at this high school. So I went to the oldest bar in town to hear how locals felt about Comey's career and Trump's decision to show him the door. You've known Comey since high school? He was an athlete up at Northern Highlands, a basketball player. I was a gym rat, so I would go up and watch him play. Truth be told, he wasn't a very good basketball player. Despite being tall. Um, despite being tall, but uh, he was always on the team. I go to church every Sunday with his dad. They're, they're wonderful, a wonderful family. You couldn't ask for anybody more honest family than the Comeys. I do not understand it. How are you going to go and fire somebody that, you know, who's in charge of the uh, investigation? I'm shocked, of course. It's only happened one other time in presidential <laughs> history, so. It's just strange it's happening now. I know Mr. Comey very well. Senior Brian, uh, Jim's dad, the success that his son has gained, uh, I'm sure it's very, you know, he can be very proud of, but I, I would imagine that, uh, you know, these are, these are tough times for him. I think there's definitely something going on. Absolutely. I mean, how could you fire the man who's investigating the president? I think it's, uh, it's a Watergate thing. When people were getting too close to Nixon, he fired. You know, he fired the special prosecutor, whatever his name was, and it looks like the same type of deal, which is not good because I voted for Trump, but I don't like what happened. There is too much smoke behind this administration. There's got to be something going on. You needed the FBI involved, and maybe now we need uh, an independent kind of group to look at this. You know, Allendale certainly hasn't seen the last of Jim, and I don't think this country or for that matter, this world has seen the last of Jim Coleman.